The hype-driven heapings of praise being poured on Star Wars The Force Awakens by the hypnotized masses is a celebration of mediocrity and a study in mass delusion. It's embarrassing that people are giving this a 10 out of 10. I knew nostalgia goggles could limit it's a person's perspective, but didn't realize that they left many entirely blind. From beginning to end, this movie was bad. Despite many shot-for-shot, line-by-line steals from the original trilogy, especially A New Hope, it didn't feel like a Star Wars. For better and for worse, this is a J.J. Abrams film, through and through. And that always means it's usually for the worst. The small amount of better includes his eye for casting and shameless ability to imitate what people loved about earlier franchise films. The worst comes with his complete inability to tell a compelling story, to do anything original, and, of course, the lens flare and shaky cam. Oh god, the lens flare and shaky cam. With a movie that is less original than most remakes, you would think J.J. would have as closely imitated Lucas's direction in A New Hope as he possibly could. But this is the one place where the lame director, director in quotes, stands his ground. Not only is there as much lens flare and shaky cam in this as in the Star Trek movies that annoyed fans so badly, there's actually more. What we have is a beat-by-beat beat remake of A New Hope that looks nothing like A New Hope due to J.J.'s tepid, pedestrian, pathetic directing style. How could something that is ripping off another superior something in the vilest of ways not feel like the something it's stealing from? Because J.J. Abrams has no talent, not even at theft, no soul. He can replicate, but he can't create. He can add lens flare, but not soul. He can hire actors we recognize from a far better series a long time ago in this galaxy, but he can't make them matter. The acting overall isn't bad, which is the opposite of the prequels. That's as far as I'm willing to compliment this film. Aside from the acting, yes, the prequels had their problems, but George was always trying to create something new, something fresh, something artistic. That's part of the reason Lucas maybe went too fresh and original in the prequels. Maybe he even got in over his head, something J.J. would never dare do because J.J. creates product. In the prequels, maybe Lucas messed up. At least he tried to create art. J.J. wouldn't know art if he was looking at the Mona Lisa. He'd probably try to shine a flashlight on it and see if he can make the lens flare permanent. I'd rather see messed up artistry like that which George created in the prequels than boring fucking Commerce, which is all J.J. has ever created. The prequels, despite not stealing from the original trilogy, felt like Star Wars. Love them, hate them, in between, doesn't matter. They felt like Star Wars. George gave us that much. The Force Awakens does not feel like Star Wars. It feels like a two-hour Happy Meal created by a Hallmark card. And why even add Episode Seven to the title? Maybe that's why Disney shied away from the Episode 7 in all the trailers. Because The Force Awakens could just as easily have been called The Force Awakens without adding the Episode 7, as the movie does not void Episode 6 as the conclusion of the story George Lucas told. It made me very sad to realize what Disney did was sell an entirely new story to a fan base who wants a conclusion to their adventure, and instead... All they're getting is a new beginning with a number seven slapped on for a bigger box office. Don't confuse new story and new beginning for originality. This movie is as much of a remake as any remake you've ever seen. Possibly more. I have so much more I could say, but I will end this by saying I hated this movie. This was, hands down, the worst Star Wars film ever made. Anakin whining about sand wasn't nearly as annoying as J.J. thinking he could pass off a new hope in CG clothing without any of us noticing. Why is even the worst of the prequels better than The Force Awakens? Because The Force Awakens is not a Star Wars film. The Force Awakens is fan fiction created by a moron for the moronic masses. The next two are as generic as this one. The new sequel trilogy will be hated worse than the prequel trilogy, and people will write this one off 
as a bad case of the nostalgias and wait for a true visionary to come along with something new. Something maybe from a different galaxy, whether it's far, far away or right next to home. JJ's not that someone, and he'll never create that something. The Force Awakens is like a class reunion. Go there, see your friends, think of the past, but secretly in your head, always be saying, what the hell happened? I'm not that ugly, am I? I didn't get that fat, did I? Whoa, did you see how terrible they look? It does remind you of the past. It's not a place you want to return. We have moved on. And no one looks as good. And nothing feels quite right. The Force Awakens. An epic dud. I'm sure the shareholders will be happy though. JJ gave them exactly what they wanted.